points, 50 points, 50 points, 50 points here, 50 points there. But how exactly did I figure this out? It almost seems impossible. What is Extreme Tron, you might be asking? Well, it's your classic game of Snake. You go up, you go down, you try to kill your opponent, but there's a little twist. There's bonuses that do different things. For example, there's a bonus called the Hyper. You pick it up, and it speeds your opponent up. But we're not here for the bonuses. We're here for the extra points. You see, there's this extra point. You pick it up, you get 50. But we want a little bit more than just 50 points. This is the 50 point bonus. This is our target in this operation. But we don't want just one 50 point. We want thousands of them. We want to be able to do this. That brings us to our next target, the self-interrupter. It has a very simple mechanic. You pick it up, you draw for five lines, you don't draw for five lines, you draw for five lines, you don't draw for five lines. But that's where it gets interesting. You see, what if I were to tell you when you're not drawing, you're not actually there. So if you pick up a bonus during this time, you pick it up, but the bonus is still there, but it's invisible. I'm picking up the bouncer here. It basically, it's a bonus that you pick it up and it acts like Brick Breaker. It's a ball that jumps around. But watch how many times I get the bouncer. I should only be getting one of these bouncers but I got three. But we're gonna need something else here to really do the duplication glitch on the 50s. That brings us to phase three. Self-interrupter plus self-interrupter. And this is also when it takes a turn for the confusing. Before I get into the combo of self-interrupter plus self-interrupter, you have to understand when you pick up the self-interrupter, the first five lines you draw will always be the open lines and not the actual solid lines. And that's when you can start doing something a little bit crazy. So let's hypothetically say we have a 50 point bonus sitting directly next to a self-interrupter. And there's a catch. We're already self-interrupted. But it's not quite that simple because in normal extreme tron, if you try to go left and right, you'll just go down and down or up or up. So there's a little way around that. If you pick up a shield and pick up a ghost, it changes how you move and you can go left and right inside your own line. Before this is over, there's one last combo that you could really do this forever and ever. I'm introducing you to the Poison Rotator. Typically, in a normal game, this bonus would make you switch spots with the other player. But if you're playing by yourself, all that it does is gives you shields and slows you down. Now, Let's hypothetically say 
you find yourself in a situation where you got a poison rotator, a self interrupter, and a 50 point bonus all right next to each other. This is the ultimate Extreme Tron exploit.